Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to pull the most dynamic range that you possibly can out of your footage in DaVinci Resolve. This is a request I got from my buds at Fezlian Studios. I'll put a link to their channel down in the description. They've got a whole bunch of cool stuff on their channel. Be sure to go check them out and say like, hey, thanks for requesting this tutorial. So without further ado, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and get started. See, I've got this nice uh, cliche sunset thing. I was shooting some stock footage for someone. And so we've got, you know, a whole lot of dynamic range to pull out of this. So the first thing you'll want to do is look at your scopes and make sure nothing is clipping. So lots of times you'll see, let me just demonstrate real quick, you'll see footage that has something that looks like this in your waveform. And you're not going to be able to pull back anything underneath that. Whenever you're making dynamic range, unless you want to go into After Effects and do some matte painting, then you got to make sure that you have the dynamic range there to pull out. But you'll see inside this picture, there's a a huge difference between the sky and this little foresty, hilly area. So as we get our initial grade going, we'll sort of do our typical thing. You see, pretty quick, this area goes down to basically black. So we pull this up, and pretty quick, this gets a little bit over. And we can fix that some by going through our gain and then trying to pull this down. But we're, we're pretty much fighting ourselves pretty hard here. It's going to be a lot of work to use these controls over here to get the most dynamic range out of this image. So how do we want to do this? In older versions of Resolve or in some other color grading software, you might have to use your curves and go down here and lift them up just like that. But that's honestly not a great way of doing it. Blackmagic has made it a whole lot easier in Resolve where you can just go over to your color match tab, go down to shadows and pull that up some. And you can see that's done a pretty nice job of pulling the shadows up. Then you can go back to your color wheels and bring the lift back down. Maybe come back and bring the shadows up even more. Just sort of creating that contrast in the low end. So we can get all these nice, you know, fall colors in here and dynamic range happening. Then we can go and we can even do the same thing with our highlights. So pulling these down. And there's often a surprising amount of detail you can pull out of your highlights, even in DSLR footage. So be sure to give this a try, because it's pretty cool. Uh, and then another thing we'll do is we'll just increase our saturations because this is, you know, pretty flat footage. And we'll even, because this is going to be some pretty extreme stock video, we'll even bump this up to a point where it's a little bit obnoxious, because, you know, people want to buy this. But you see, before and after, we really kind of punched this low area up so we can see that it's, oh, it's trees and a hill and, you know, this little place over here. I obviously could not see the screen on my camera very well because this isn't framed great. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. That's what you get when you shoot the Blackmagic Cinema camera. Another thing to kind of make this feel lighter is you can add another node with Alt-S and then go over to your windows and add this sort of graduated filter. And you can make this sky up here darker. Uh, something that you learn when you fly, uh, for me it was model airplanes, but I guess now with multi-rotors and stuff, the further away you are from the sun, the darker the sky gets, which, you know, it seems obvious, but, you know, when you're flying RC stuff, it's good to know whenever you're headed towards the sun. So as long as you're not making the sun darker, you're making this uh, area up here darker, it'll look fine. So you can just pull that over. This area will be affected by our grade, and this area will kind of graduate down to not being affected. We can just pull our lift. Oh, that's too much. Pull our gain down. Just a little bit of highlights down. That's a little too much. I still want some highlight stuff happening. Let's move this up some. So I just want it in the sky. I think sort of like Top Gear-ish. I know that there isn't a lot of information in the lows down here, but I found that kind of using those lows, especially in sky stuff, looks really cool. Kind of when I first got started with photography, I shot a picture of some clouds and then pulled the blacks down all the way on camera raw and was like, whoa, this is awesome, but sweet. So now you can see we've got a pretty nice little, you know, sunset image. Like I would totally put that up, you know, as stock video. Might even pull a little bit more highlights out of there just because we're being cheeky. So let's go over, did that in this node and those highlights are clipping a little bit. Go the opposite way and make it look on purpose. Sweet. So, thanks again to Fezlian Studios for suggesting this. It's always nice to have other people telling me what they want to see because, 
you know, other people know what they want to see better than I know what they want to see. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, just leave something down in the comments for me to read because it's a lot of fun to, you know, see engagement on my stuff. If you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. And if you're just a super fan, be sure to go to the Meester Media website, www.meesternmedia.com. There's a downloads tab where you can get some free looks and stock music and stuff. I just kind of put it up there as I get it and decide other people could use it. We also have a Facebook and Twitter page, so be sure to check that out for, you know, behind the scenes looks at, at stuff. Once again, I've been Theo with Meesner Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.